With its geographical location, Papua New Guinea is prone to natural disasters in the Pacific region. From the UNDP Disaster Risk Management Report, PNG is ranked within the highest percentage of population exposed to earthquakes and other natural disasters. Climate change also adds to the risk of natural hazards by causing extreme weather patterns even more frequent. Experiencing more natural hazards, the National Weather Service proposed to the government in 2015 to host the Regional Integrated Multi-Hazard Early Warning System Services, or RIMES. In the 8th Council meeting and 2nd Ministerial Conference in India two years ago, PNG for the first time has raised its end up. This week Wednesday, PNG was the host to 145 countries who attended the 9th Council meeting and the third ministerial conference in Port Mosby. The Assistant Director of National Weather Service, Jimmy Gomoga, says the Regional Integrated Multi-Hazard Early Warning System will be an essential tool in carrying out their work. RIMES issues early warning information on tsunamis, cyclones, or other natural hazards. Is that the tools, the very tools that uh, uh, require geohazards management and uh, National Weather Service to, to do our job is that we have found that uh, RIMES could uh, give us those tools and the technical expertise that we needed in the country to save our people and our, our government for better decision making. But when asked how effective is the current system to inform people if any disaster is expected the next morning, the response only implies that the country's system is still not effective to warn people of any natural disasters. That the Pacific and the Asia, we have common gaps. And uh, it's a way of addressing these gaps, to minimize these gaps, that with the expertise that RIMES is offering, we can be able to uh, minimize those gaps, or even close them. And uh, this is very, very important for us. So when it comes to issuing those warnings, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, this is making uh, information for the, the ministers, that information will be readily available. And with a hub being built, because the hub will actually be the duplicate of what is in the headquarters. So it will save all the functions and thereby taking some of the responsibility because there's an ever-growing uh, need and ever-growing demand for RIME production services. So through these sub-hubs, we're able to handle some of that and uh, some of that demand. So it is very, very uh, important for us that this suburb is actually been built and it, will, it is here for Papua New Guinea, but also for the, the Pacific region. However, the good news for the country now is the commissioning of the sub-regional hub that will address early warning in occurrence of any natural hazards. The director for Geohazards Management Division, John Arumba, says the government has assisted them with a 4 million kina to run the meeting and the building of the sub-regional hub. And it is the first hub built in the Pacific that will also serve other Pacific island countries. Uh, you know, issuing an early warning system hmm? and to get the country prepared and uh, at least communities, you know, be aware and of the imminent danger that, is, you know, that will approach any community. Uh, so far, I think uh, with RIMES, with, with our collaboration with RIMES, it's very good. And we can get a lot, lot of support and capacity building from, uh, from, the, from RIMES. The hub was built within two years. This has attracted more countries to participate in the conference and see how PNG has done it. The director for RIMES program unit, Mr. Subia, was amazed at how PNG did it in the minimum period of time and the resources used to host the meeting and build a hub. Cost dimension and sustainability dimension, and also helping neighbors, you know, with, with all the, the thing, without depending on any external, uh, major external support or something like that. It's all self-sufficiency, self-reliant, totally. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing thing. Second way, that's why the, all the 45 countries come here 
to share that experience, how PNG did it, what is how PNG could do it, so that they can also do it. So it is not just for PNG or the Pacific, but also for the other regions, uh, Asia, Africa, region, uh, uh, the, uh, to establish the hubs like PNG. This is the first hub established here. Now there is a, uh, there is a lessons learned in establishing a hub. There is also a trust and also confidence that uh, it can be built like that. So this confidence and trust is given by PNG to other regions and there will be several hubs in Africa, Asia, Middle, Middle East, everywhere. So, so hubs will come up on the lines of PNG. So PNG served as a model to the whole world. Today the sub-regional hub was commissioned at the National Weather Service in Podmosby. So basically the Rhyme sub-regional hub will improve the response of early warning in the country and the Pacific region as a whole.